Hi, and welcome to Authority Site Keyword Intelligence Tool 2. I'm going to take you through a quick demonstration of how quick and easy it is to use. And we work in projects, and we basically we just start a project with a simple project name. And we add a source URL, that will be the URL of a site we're looking at enhancing. Source keyword, and that'll be the target keyword that we actually want for this particular site. Now, in fact, the keyword intelligence tool will find our target keywords for us, but this is useful information. Then optionally, we can add a search country and we can select Google or Yahoo to work with and we simply create the project. With the project created, it will give us just the one URL that we originally set and we can select that URL and we can ask it to crawl that page by clicking more URLs and it will crawl the page and bring back all the other URLs that are linked from that page. If any of those URLs are ones we don't want, we can simply take them out by deleting them. And we can now select one, some, or all of the URLs and simply ask it to find its primary keyword. So in other words, the keywords that your site or your web pages are actually targeting. And it will go off and it will intelligently find those. It will bring back, as you can see here, we have four diamond rings, we have diamond engagement rings, we have diamond rings, we have diamond wedding rings, etc. And if we're not sure exactly what it was, we can use the drop down list and we can decide what target keyword we actually want to select. Once you've selected that, again, select the keywords, one, some, or all of the ones that we want to run our report on, and we simply ask it, and it will go away and it will fetch the top 10 competitors for every one of those keywords. We'll do a full analysis on them and we'll pull all the keywords out of the body of those websites. It will pull out the meta keywords, it will pull out the title, and it will pull out the meta description from the header of each of those pages and store them away for us to be able to run reports. And when it has collected all the competition data from those sites, we can simply go to the reporting section. And at this point, you'll be able to see we have a number of options. Now, by default, it's set to all pages. Now, those all pages that we've just targeted. But we can, of course, and it's better to target an individual page or analyze an individual page. So let's just take one of these pages. We can also select the maximum number of search results that it pulls keywords from, either you know the top one, top two, top three, or through to the top 10 competitors. And I'm going to leave that one for the moment. And we can also decide the minimum keyword occurrence. In other words, how many times does that keyword appear in your competitor's results? But for this demo, I'm going to leave that at one. And of course, we can also gap analyze by selecting the gap analysis checkbox, and that will remove any keywords that are already on our site. So leaving us with a list of absolutely unique keywords for us to report on. And the first thing I'm going to show you is the full keyword list ordered. And this basically, I will click that button now and it will go off and it will pull from the database that it has created automatically a list of one, two, and three, and four keyword phrases. So from here, you can see that the single keywords are diamonds, ales, etc. And next to that, you will see a number. And that number is the occurrence, in other words, the number of times it has found that particular keyword in your competitor's data. Now remember this particular example, we're only looking at the actual number one result in Google, so your number one competitor, and you can see it's found 312 keywords. And from these single keywords, it's generated in two word phrases, three word phrases, and four word phrases. And we can tailor our report specifically, so we can check this list of single keywords, and if any of these don't fit within our niche, for instance, if I look at view, that probably doesn't fit, isn't a related keyword to this particular niche. So I can temporarily remove it just from this project by clicking it. And that will go away and regenerate again now without the word view in it. And as you can see, it's just reduced the, the single keyword count by one. And it will have made these two, three and four word phrases more relevant by removing the less relevant keyword. Notice these are all hyperlinked. We'll come back to that in a little while. And besides the full keyword list, we also have the header keyword list, which gives us a similar view. 
But in this case, you'll see that all the keywords are highlighted. As I said, I'll come back to this later. But these are the keywords taken from your competitors, meta keywords from the title, from the description. In other words, the very keywords that their SEO experts will be targeting or have targeted on their sites. So these are key information for you. And you can also look at the related search keywords. Now, these don't come from the competitor sites. This comes from Google itself. And these are the most related keywords that Google suggests you should be using. And the final type of keyword report means we can look at any of these in CSV format. And in that case, we can export those or open those in a CSV file or in an Excel spreadsheet, which means you can easily export these to move into another keyword tool or to manipulate yourself within a spreadsheet. All the keywords or the numbers next to the keywords are highlighted or hyperlinked. And by clicking on any of these links, you will generate the advanced deep dive report. So I'm going to look at this case, antique engagement rings. And this in-depth report will bring you all the backlink details, domain on page authority, so you can see exactly how competitive that keyword is and whether or not you want to target it. It will also give you the historical trend, the search levels over time. In this case, it's declining. You can look at the geographical searches and see where the highest searches are in what country. You can also find the highest searched related keywords. In other words, the keywords with the most searches that are related to your target keyword. You can also find the highest or fastest rising keywords, those trending keywords that you should be targeting. We also give you the unique visits for each of the top 10 competitors. Therefore, you can look and estimate what your future traffic might be able to achieve in your niche. And you get the Quantcast demographic information, which tells you everything about your target audience, enable you to accurately target your visitors. So with all this keyword information under your belt, there's just no reason now why your web pages can't be ranking high, converting well and raking in revenues. That's the Keyword Intelligence Tool version two.